Hello, it's Wolf from Tesla Owners US, and today I want to uh, explain a little bit about the difference between a lockdown in the US and a lockdown in Europe or in Germany, especially. And that's why I want to go a little bit to a site where there is already big vaccination going on and then I explain a little bit to the numbers and why that is very different in the US as it is why in Germany. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life What you see here in the background is our Cardinal Stadium and there's a big parking lot in front of that and in that parking lot there's a whole bunch of vaccination going on in drive-by performance feet. Directly at the stadium and that is the State Farm Stadium and here is the main vaccination site, but there are many other sites there as well, just directly at our local hospitals as well. So the parking spot is empty anyway, so when the parking spot is empty, because there are no games going, then you can use it for something useful, which is there in the back. Here is the vaccine site at the stadium, and then you see here cars are coming, and they are driving crazy, someone told me that you have to watch when you're walking there and I'm walking there and the sun is setting slowly and they are driving through and then there are tents in the back where they are being uh, vaccinated in mass drive by Yeah, hello guys, I thought about it a long time if I want to report about that but I finally do and I had many times I had it ready and I had it scrapped and then I had it used again and then it was not good enough and then I was on the wrong position where the screen is and then I said should I really bring it or not bring it because of the current incident that we in the US now have over half a million deaths so I'm gonna go through that a little bit and what I can explain try to explain the different behavior and why are the numbers so high here and why we have such a high sacrifice of people and it's in the other states and countries differently. And I try to explain a little bit between Europe or Germany and the US about what the difference is or what I think the difference is. So there might be other figures for that but I try to explain it. So first, uh, acceptance of the reduction of freedom, that is one topic and that is probably more accepted in Germany as it is accepted here in the US. And the US has right from their history, they, uh, they love their freedom, they love their way how they uh, uh, enjoy their freedom and the big country and even the national anthem and other songs are singing about their freedom, what they have and what their fathers fought for. And it's not easy to uh, re reduce this or even when it has an attempt to reduce it, then it might not be enforced. So in the opposite way, I think in Europe and Germany, they are a little bit more obedience to the authorities and what they say. And uh, yeah, and and if they are accepting that destiny and maybe they do it partially for for the community, for everybody else and partially for themselves. But we are in the US, it's just this is my freedom and I want it this way and that's why it's being considered to do it only this way. And thinking about that long time and I think this is one of those uh, things. The other thing is that enforcement for the removal of their rights, the rights to gather, the rights to meet up with families, the rights to demonstrate, the right to uh, just to do the normal things what you do in life, and uh, and the enforcement for that, 
I didn't see a huge acceptance of the police here in the US. I even saw some videos posted there from policemen. They said, oh, they are not doing anything wrong. They're just enjoying their freedom. And I'm gonna, not going to enforce that. I'm not going to enforce certain things when they're not doing anything wrong. I'm here to avoid any crimes, but I'm not here to enforce that. And that is an important topic there. <laughs> What I'm thinking there is, and there are good websites. Uh, there are websites for what I'm also being informed there about how that happened there, and uh, especially the uh, number of cases going up there. But I'm going to that more in detail. And I showed you at the beginning some figures for uh, vaccination sites and so on. So acceptance of modern medicine. Yeah, that's another topic. I think in the US they are more acceptance acceptant to modern medicine. So if you if I have some problems, some illness, you have a medicine for that, give it to me, I'm gonna swallow it and it's gone. So most of the things are being fought with medicine. And that's why also the acceptance of the vaccine it might be much higher here, even when some people are skeptical about that because it's a new method. But I think that's Another, another difference for that. Uh, then um, that is not necessarily the way uh, I think in Germany where that you, you might want to find out what this type of medicine is. You, want it, you might want to uh, more understand it. Uh, they might want to wait until it's more proven and maybe not medicine does not help for everything. Maybe sometimes you want to know what the cause is for that and more reluctant to to accept any type of medicine or vaccination for that. And uh, and that's why maybe the rollout for the vaccination uh, is different. Now, expenditure for vaccine. So in the US it said, hey, give me my medicine no matter what it costs. So I'm going to pay for that. I want to get out of here. I want to get my freedom. So and that's why I think they made a huge purchase and they were very clever because it's a German medication basically invented in Germany with Pfizer. They probably have the production cap capabilities and they are ramping up huge production there and also because of their special law is there's a special war act what you can enable there that those companies uh, especially the US company Pfizer they cannot export uh, their medications, what they are producing here for other countries, and uh, uh, as long as that war act is enacted, and that's the case here, so everything what's being produced here goes also here. And now, the poor Germans they try to buy together with the EU, and it's try to save some money to buying in bulk there and try to get a great deal, so they might get a great deal. But the delivery time is not enough. And uh, some of the statistics are showing that already, and I'll come to that later. So buying, uh, how to buy and how to the buying behavior and what it costs or if it can save something or not. I think the strategy was right. Hey, what is the fair price of that? But in comparison, the price for the vaccination is much cheaper in, uh, uh, instead of uh, taking the whole uh, country down yeah and or part of the country and I saw also something maybe I put it in between here there are I went through shops there everything here in Arizona is open and I tell you we had to take our share for that uh, for the figures I'm going to show that as well the next one is yeah the vaccine vaccination stand so I think in Arizona, the vaccination stand is already 15.8%. And we have a lot of snowboards here at that time as well. And they are over 65. And they get uh, treated first for they are in category 1B. Uh, there's a massive rollout for that. I think even the governor asked that we can get more vaccine because all of the snowboards here, they are having a, a second home here. And they are registered here during that time at least. And they want to get their vaccine and they're going to be first in line and the difference also here first in line also and i think that's right medical workers first responders uh, healthcare systems 
health, pro uh, health providers or people who are in uh, nursing homes and so on and, uh, and also people there in schools. They are also uh, in ranking first who are doing in, uh, in presence uh, uh, teaching. And that's important there as well and I think that's the right strategy to, go, uh, to, to do to, uh, to administer their vaccinations whereby now compared to Germany first the owner comes and they are now thinking about that oh maybe we should really consider also healthcare workers and uh, uh, people in schools to get vaccination for them but now they're top, starting from the top and it goes slow and do I have some figures there? Yeah, I can put it in the background. Maybe I'll put this one on, on split screen. Uh, one of them was, let me see if I have that here. Yeah, it's a screen admin, the, the administration of that. Who is number one is for sure Israel, because they have a healthcare system uh, for an electronic healthcare system, and they made a deal that the data has been shared, and that's good because what they found out about that, that it, once you get vaccinated you, and you maybe you cannot uh, carry that virus even when you're already vaccinated to someone else at, at, at least to almost 90% of the cases. And that's a good thing and they played the guinea pig for us. And then I think number five is the US and somewhere in the middle is Germany with the administration of cases there. And that's very sad. I think I have that on my phone as well. Let me, let me look that up yeah, in order to give you a comparison of the cases there. Yeah, that here. So, yeah, when you look there at the administration, Israel was first. And I think, oh, there is uh, the Seychelles, the Maldives, and so on. They are higher in, high in their population rating there. Uh, the United States is, I think, place number 10 or so on with a high increase they administered so far 420,000 uh, and then when you go to the next page Germany is oh, way down in that time frame I think they administered let me go there here 140,000 uh, uh, vaccinations there and yeah Oh, that's a little bit lame, but it's probably because of the uh, because of the lack of vaccination uh, doses. Yeah, and then like I said here, Israel is number one, Emirates number two, Serbia three, United Kingdom number four because they started early. Five is Chile, five is uh, six is United States, and then there is. Let me put that on the light on. And then there is Germany, which is, okay, after United States, Turkey, Morocco, Bahrain, Poland, Slovakia, Spain, France, and there's Germany. So they are not so good in administration of the vaccines per day. So whereby United States is uh, close to a million, uh, Germany is about uh, about 100 and uh, a little more than 100, no, oh, not even that, uh, about 10,000, uh, what is 30,000 a day or so right now on the 24th. It's ramped up quite significantly uh, in in the US as well, but uh, uh, they probably could do better. And I'll show you also our vaccination sites. It's coming there now. That's a quite busy site here. You're going through in some lanes. Probably gonna check in there on the first station all the way in the back. Then you're coming back through here and then you're going out here again. So, and there are cars coming and going. And after I showed you the vaccination sites, they try everything possible to get people so fast vaccinated 
as possible because like I said they more believe in modern medicine than anybody else yeah the next thing is what I want to talk to you about that is and I take my phone for that one uh, let me turn that on okay I got it so I put my phone here so that I can better explain that so the first thing what you're gonna see is the United States and the number of cases per 100,000 people or incident rates and you see there the new cases per 100,000 people one of the states is really heavy hit uh, not anymore so in uh, in Arizona because it's a lower left there California is all the way to the left and then Arizona but I tell you we took our uh, we took our toll for that and then we're coming to the next one to case growth so the case growth is not so much anymore we actually are lowering in cases right now when you see the green ones when it's green is lower in cases it's turning to red is upper in cases so that's been pretty good in Arizona and I'll tell you why that is as well when we go to Arizona next one is total cases yes we had quite a few there in Arizona even when we are only 7.2 million people here in Arizona but it's about maybe almost 10% of what it is in Germany Germany is 82,000 people and then the number of deaths but in the number of deaths is black it's really black and because first of all we have a lot of seniors here in the in Arizona and they had to suffer from that and what the black areas there is actually Mar Maricopa County where um, California had a lot of them uh, Arizona and we and then all the way top top right corner is their New England states and New York and Florida on the way low all the way to the lower right there it's not good and then let's come when you come here let's come to Arizona it's the first one here coming up so and then we go there through the figures as well so in Arizona as you can see uh, the number of new cases are uh, being maybe 25 per 100,000 that's pretty good because it seems to be that we are over the hump the growth rate is very low is minus it's actually is sinking right also in our county there the total number of cases was pretty high uh, in Arizona and the number of deaths and you know if you see that black block there this is where I'm living so we had uh, over 10,000 deaths in that county there in Arizona uh, that's not that's not not good but this is what I said is we have a lot of seniors there and we had a lot of people there and the restrictions were not high and unfortunately that turned this way yeah that's something about the numbers there and that's what I want to bring up bring towards you and then let's see what's coming out hope that as everything turns better vaccination starts soon you saw the sites there I just want to get that across there and hey keep the fingers crossed everything goes better and it comes better vaccination comes in fast thanks to the German product BioNTech uh, or there's also CureVac uh, Moderna and uh, BioNTech a German company merged or, uh, or worked together with Pfizer US company they got fast into that got a German product here in the US uh, a German invented product here in the US and I think I put much hope in that product especially because it's a new way of doing vaccines and uh, the new way of doing vaccines actually the, just the DNA sequence of the spikes uh, are being inserted in a little bulb of fat into your muscle and your own body produces the spikes and then your own body uh, produces the antibodies to jump on those spikes and especially is also helpful against variants and that's all and it's very easily adaptable if there are other spikes coming with other DNA sequences the product is already being established right so and because you have already established this type of a product you can very easily uh, program a different spike of uh, the vaccine to it 
and be having this adapted. Yeah, hey, that's all. And keep the fingers crossed. Numbers are going down. And talk to you the next time. This time a little bit different as electric cars, but uh, because of that touchable case of half a million, I needed to say something about it and also about the differences and why is that this way. All right, have a have a good one. Talk to you next time. Bye bye.